And the Oscar for Best Invitation goes to... <laughs> <laughs> Here with Mark Friedland, who designed the envelopes, the invitations for the Oscars this year. How does the design come about? Well, last year was the first year that the winner's envelope ever designed for the Academy Awards. The two most ubiquitous phrases that you ever hear about the Academy Awards is the Oscar goes to and the envelope please. And I always felt like, you know, you have the Oscar, but the envelope, there was nothing iconic about it. This year, what's really exciting is what I realized was that one envelope, or those uh, envelopes last year, the winner's envelopes, uh, were only touched by about 50 people, the presenters and the winners. The best ever, yes. Tom Hanks, first presenter, walks on stage, picks one up, says the envelopes alone are a work of art. So I couldn't, I couldn't ask for anything more. He's the king of the Oscars. Oh, I, 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 is this really happening? So it was amazing. You've been the official florist of the Governor's Ball for 19 years. Really? That's a long time. It's a long time. And you've also designed flowers for so many celebrity weddings. Can you tell me a couple of the people that you've designed flowers for? Well, I mean, Kim Kardashian wedding comes to mind. That was rather recent. And I mean, a, mil a million people. What is, what is the most extravagant thing you've ever done? The Academy Awards is really maybe one of the biggest things we, we do. This year, because this, it's more loungy and the, the palette of the room is very neutral. It's like whites and silvers and taupes. We wanted to pop it with flowers. So red is our theme this year. We're using every shade we can find. So amaryllis, roses, lilies, red calla lilies, who knew? Any celebrity you can tell us what their favorite flower is? In case I was to send like Tom Cruise flowers or Kim Kardashian flowers, any favorites that you know of? Kate Beckinsale loves white. She loves white peonies. She loves uh, white lilies. Um, everybody has their own little favorite. Um, um, Jessica Simpson, white and uh, green. A little bit more rustic look. Tulips, she loves tulips. So can you show me a couple of the flowers here that we're going to see at the party? This is a very interesting piece. It's a created flower that we, we've done with, uh, uh, you know, orchids and then, and then rose petals, each one glued on one petal at a time. These will be on coffee tables. This is kind of an interesting arrangement. Just two flowers, but how neat it is. We're trying to go very modern, very stylized. at my favorite station with Aida from Moet and Shendon. How are you? I'm well, how are you? Good. So first of all, I heard a thousand bottles of champagne will be opened and served at the Governor's Ball. That's right. That adds up to over 6,000 glasses of champagne that will be poured over the course of the evening. It is unbelievable. That's a lot. I mean, I'm a champagne girl. So tell me a little bit about this gorgeous rose cocktail that I'm looking at. So every year we've had an exclusive cocktail for the Governor's Ball. This year is the first time we did the Moet Oscar Cocktail Competition. So fans helped us choose this cocktail. The winner is the Red Carpet Glamour Cocktail. And the Moet Red Carpet Glamour is made with a base of some fresh squeezed sour mix, a little bit of hum botanical spirit, and then of course some Moet de Chandon Imperial. Cheers. Cheers. It's like a flower. It's like a flower in a it's glass. Incredible. It's so good. Extremely aromatic. So tell me in the past, some of the celebrities that you happen to know that love champagne, that are big champagne drinkers. Uh, you know, a lot of the celebrities toast all throughout the evening. Uh, Matt Damon drinks a lot of the Moet during uh, all the award season. And Sofia Vergara has become a very big recent fan of Moet. Give me a remedy for a hangover. The thing <laughs> is, first of all, you need to start by drinking good quality alcohol. Okay. And so if you drink good quality champagne like Moet Chandon, yeah, that's half the battle. Then I say to drink one glass of water with every glass of alcohol you drink. And then from there, you know, if you really, really have overindulged, then I think you stay and spend the rest of your day in bed and just kind of sleep it off. Just be prepared to take the day off exactly. after the Oscars. <laughs>